Okay, let's see how this one turns out. This is an interesting one. It's not my taste as a general rule. I had a look inside the pages of this book and there wasn't really anything I liked. I think the cover was the cover of this book is a much nicer uh, kind of image color wise. It's more colorful than the other shit that I saw. So let's see what we can do to make this look really nice. Anyway, it's the cover of the book rather than the pages in between. So let's see if we can make it look really nice. It's not my taste as a general rule, but the front cover has a bit of liveliness to it that the rest of it doesn't, or colour. Anyway, what is it? Brett Whiteley, Art and Life. Yeah, interesting character. I don't know much about him, but I know that he was, he's a big, um, a big, uh, uh, how shall I put it? He's very well known. So we're going to put the, I'm just wondering how we're going to do this. This is a tricky one. Uh, trying to make it look really nice. So we're going to make it, we're going to use the B5 area. I think, and we got to we got to overlap it because we've got that white area. Pardon the pun, no, no pun on on the name Whiteley. Sorry, folks. Terrible sounding, unintentional joke about the name White Whiteley White White Edge or Strip, whatever. Enough of that. Sorry, folks. <laughs> right, I think we're going to make this a lot smaller. I think it's going to be B5 to A4. I don't know how this is going to look, how we're going to work this out. So this is Brett Whiteley. Poor dude, he died some time ago. Um, but I, as I said, I don't really like most of his work. The front cover, I didn't look at absolutely all of the pages, but most of them just looked, there was a lot of black and white and a lot of, yellow like dark like faded sort of yellow paper and ugly sort of look um i much prefer the front cover compared with the rest of the book that i've seen so that looks really quite nice uh i do like it to a certain degree this one uh uh wondering if we can do anything more to it or maybe we're going to make this our well, that looks really nice. The colours have come up better in here now. I do think the colours have improved doing this. So, wondering what we're going to do to improve on this. Uh, maybe move it up a bit. I don't know. I'm just taking a pot shot guess as to how to improve on this. Uh, we'll just see how we go. But, yeah, Brett Whiteley was... was I don't know whether he was, whether he acquired fame as a, when he was still living. Well, we all know posthumously, he he's worth a lot. You know, his work is worth a lot. It's a shame a lot of artists are only found, only well known when they die. It just seems like such a waste of a creative soul uh, to wait until they die before. That looks better. We've got more of that, more of this stuff at the sides. So it's a real, it's a real waste, to me it's a real waste of an artist's life to only become famous when you're dead. Posthumously it's called. Posthumous fame. It's just so cruel the world, the world is on the art world. You know, the artists don't get very far, a lot of them. Uh, I know for a fact I myself have not gotten anywhere in the art world. Uh, <laughs> And I must say, the way I'm going, I'm probably going to be remembered only when I die. And then they'll see all my work and they'll think, shit, she was, maybe she wasn't, maybe we should have been more open to her work when she was still alive. Oh, we never got to know her. Whatever. Uh, sorry if I'm sounding like I'm big noting myself, folks, but uh, I'm, I'm, it just looks like I'm not going to make it to getting a recognition until I'm dead but I know that I've got what it takes and in the social media world 
self-promotion is the way to go. You can promote yourself nowadays. Whereas in Brett Whiteley's day, social media wasn't probably... I don't think it was even there when he was around. So he never got a chance to to utilise the rich plethora of uh, technologies that are available now, like YouTube and Facebook uh, to, and Twitter, to name a few. These are really good um, resources that a person like myself can draw upon. So I'm hoping, folks, I'm not going to become a posthumous remembered artist, that I'll be able to enjoy my uh, talent while I'm still alive and to enjoy being recognised. Uh, but basically, I feel sorry for Brett Whiteley, you know. I don't know if he was recognised in his, in his life, but we all know that he's big now uh, and his work... Uh, commands a lot of respect so yeah I feel ashamed not ashamed, sad that he had to die I don't know whether it was a drug overdose or something but he died I don't know, I have to look him up maybe some stage anyway, sorry about the um, poor the curling, uh, the papers looks a bit shit but there you have it a new take on Brett Whiteley